continue. And we want to save the campaign. If you want to create another ad group, you would click this. But for now, I'm just going to save the campaign. And I'm going to show you how to set an ID for each of these keywords. OK, so I'm going to go into the campaign. And we're going to go into the keyword management. Here, we're actually going to show you how to edit your um, tracking IDs so that you can keep track of every single one of these keywords here um, separately. Um, again, you know we have 250 keywords, all at 17 cents, and they're all active. So that means uh, did a pretty good job at writing the copy, and we have a pretty good landing page, and we probably will show up on a lot of these uh, terms. So to set up the tracking ID, now this, this like I said, can take a very long time. Um, so we click, uh, we'll go to all the keywords, and go to Edit Keyword Settings up here. And again, we have we know we're not going to pay 17 cents. We just have to set the destination URL for every single one. And so what we do is, you know, this will be tracking ID one. And we can actually do this, set this all the way down. Now what it's going to do is going to pre-populate all the keywords on that page that you selected. Mm -hmm. And so we just go down the list here. Yeah, tracking ID two, tracking ID three, tracking ID four. Pretty tedious process. Yeah, and this can take quite some time, as you can see. Now, if we have 250 keywords, um, you can only imagine how long this is going to take. And, you know, just imagine automating all this. I mean, that would just be awesome. Yeah, it would. And you also, you could change the, the bids for each one of these. Yeah, exactly. And we're actually going to show you um, in our next video how you can automate all this. Uh, it's a pretty simple process. Uh, it's not too difficult. It is if you're doing it manually. Yeah, if you're doing it manually, it's definitely a um, little difficult. All right, well, I'm not going to go through all these because it's just yeah. taking too long. I'm just going to click yeah. save, but you get the general idea. Now, what I want to talk to you about just briefly is you have track 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 for all these keywords here. So 1 is equal to this, 2 is equal to that, 3 is equal to that, 4 is equal to this keyword, etc. So now, what's going to actually happen on the ClickBank side Looks like we have these errors here. Sorry, all we had to do was um, do that and drag that down. And again, you're going to have to go back through each one and uh, go through the whole process again. But as like I said, you can get the idea. And what you're actually going to see is on the ClickBank side, um, which I'll show you in a second. So now you can actually see that over here for a second. Let me just go back. All these have their own tracking ID. Now ClickBank. When you go and you check your stats, it'll actually tell you what tracking ID that sale came from. So you know which keywords are working. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that in itself is golden because that pretty much tells you what keywords are working, what keywords aren't working, and which ones are making sales and which ones aren't, and which ones you should raise the bid and which ones you should lower the bid. And well, which you can, ones you should kill. Exactly. So which ones you should get rid of, the ones that you're losing money on, no matter how low you go. Exactly. If you're getting a lot of clicks and no sales, uh, it doesn't do you much good, so you want to kill that. Exactly. Now, I, I know um, a lot of you are probably going to have questions on this whole process, and um, we'll be on this blog. Um, so if you have any questions, just post some comments, and we'll be here to answer them for you. But it's a pretty straightforward process, and I, we just wanted to show you that um, this is how you would set up your Google campaign, um, doing this kind of uh, setup. So there you have it. There's Google set up for you. Um, Again, like we said, this is probably the best way to set up your campaigns with tracking IDs and finding, you know, the best ad to use yep, exactly. and things like that. Now, another thing we do is going to add variations. This is called split testing, and what we do a lot of times is we split test. Um, you always want to split test, and you want to you want to try to beat your control. So you have add one, exactly, and you have add two, and, and, you, have add two. and you always have a winner and a loser. So you generally want to get at least, I would say, 100 clicks before you, you kind of get an idea of whether you have a winner or a loser. Exactly. So if you have two ads and you want to split test both of them, now what you have to do now, even on the second ad, you know, is you're going to have to change the tracking ID because um, you have two ads now. But you can definitely see which ads are performing better just from, you know, the ad, this, this itself. All right. So...
that's pretty much it in a nutshell as far as, you know, showing you how to set up your campaigns and how to use tracking IDs. We're just going to pause this um, because it's not live. And um, is there anything else that you need to mention right now about AdWords, Larry? Um, no, I think that's it for, for Google. I think we should move on to Yahoo. Okay. Which is uh, a different animal uh, than AdWords being that what you bid is what you get. There's no quality score there because Google basically... They, they give you positioning based on your click-through rate and the quality of your ad and landing pages. So it's not a cut and dry like, like Yahoo and MSN. But Yahoo, from what I understand, is also going to be doing a quality score. But for now, it's uh, what you bid is what you get. So the positioning is directly proportional to your payout. Exactly. So let's go over to Yahoo. 